Hi, welcome to my lesson today. Today I want to tell you about five phrasal verbs. After telling you about the meaning and give you an ex uh, example, I want to tell you a story too. I want you to see how I'm using them in one story. If you're already my student, you know how it works. If you're not, let me tell you. We try to have some stories together so we can learn the phrasal verbs in a sentence and in a topic. We want to know how we can use all of them in one story. So it's better to make your story too. Okay, I'm going to start and then we will do the story. Ready? First one, look up. Look up. It means to search for information in a reference source or maybe online. For example, I didn't know the meaning of that word, so I looked it up in the dictionary. I looked it up in the dictionary. Number two, look after. Look after means to take care of someone or something. For example, can you please look after my cat while I'm on vacation? <laughs> Number three, look forward to. Look forward to means to feel excited or eager about something that is going to happen in the future. For example, I'm really looking forward to our family trip to the beach next week. Four, look out. Look out. It means to be cautious or watchful, especially for potential danger or a problem. For example, look out, there is a car coming from the left. Five, look over, look over. It means to examine or review something carefully. For example, before submitting the report, I need to look it over to make sure there are no mistakes. Look it over to make sure there are no mistakes. Okay, are you fine with all of them? Yes, thank you so much. You can like the video if you understood everything. But don't go anywhere, we have a story here. I'm going to tell you a short story. I wrote it, of course. I will read it for you. And I want you to write a story for me, too. Okay? I'm going to start. In a small town, Emily dreamed of becoming an explorer. She would look up maps and travel guides, immersing herself in adventurous stories. When her aunt fell ill, Emily took over the flower shop. She discovered a talent for arranging flowers. One day, a customer named Mr. Jack asked Emily to examine a mysterious map. It led to a hidden island of creatures. Excitement filled Emily's heart. She decided to join Mr. Jack on the treasure hunt. Before leaving, Emily found someone to look after the shop. They set sail and Emily looked forward to the adventure. She knew it would test her courage and ability to find hidden dangers. This treasure hunt 
would shape her into the fearless explorer she aspired to be. With dreams in her heart, Emily sailed into the horizon, ready for the wonders that awaited her. So, tell me which one I used in my story. Can you tell me in the comment? Can you make a story? I cannot wait to read it. Let me tell you something. I love my students' story. In the beginning, they try to say like shorter ones, but after having so many lessons, they start to make really good and interesting stories. I really love reading them. And if you want, you can make one here for me too. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.